Hey guys, this is John Gallant, and I wanted to show you this really cool thing I learned today in Adobe Illustrator. So I'm going through my blog and just trying to improve my thumbnail photo. So you'll see here the John Gallant image here. It's quite fuzzy. That's because I'm actually using the thumbnail, which is only 200 pixels, and these are roughly about 124 by 512 uh, ratio. So I'm gonna go into Adobe Illustrator, take a look at my logo and see if I can improve this. All right, so I'm here in Illustrator. I created this logo basically by using rectangles, okay? So this is the original here. This is a rectangle. This is a rectangle. This is a rectangle. I got it all lined up. I just noticed one day that my name actually aligns like this and I thought it'd be a cool logo. You scroll to the top of my blog, you can see the logo up there. Let's just try and get this to be better quality for the thumbnail here. So in Adobe Illustrator, all I did was I created a new artboard. So down here on the right, if you click on new artboard, you can create a new artboard. So you can see all these variations on my logo. This is the one in the upper left. This is a square version. This is a negative version uh, for my footer down there in the footer. All right, so let's create a new artboard. Down here on the right, I'm gonna click on new artboard. That's gonna place it there. I'm gonna click over on the left, I'm gonna click the artboard tool, and that's gonna allow me to drag it. So I'm just gonna drag it over here, give me plenty of space, because I'm gonna resize it. I know that I want a width of uh, 1024 and a height of 512. You see that's almost overlapping there, so I'm just gonna move that a little bit right there. Good, line that up. And then down here in the right, you can click on this to rearrange all artboards. Click OK. It's going to place it nicely like that. Cool. So now I'm going to take my logo here and I'm just going to copy and paste here. I'm just going to scale this up. OK, so I just grouped those objects and then went up here in the upper right, aligned to artboard and then clicked center and center to get that nice and centered. OK, I'm going to go up to file, export, export for screens. This can be called logo underscore thumb and I'm gonna export at 512 and 1024. So I'm gonna click Export Artboard, click Replace. All right, back on my blog, I'm gonna click Refresh there to uh, take a look at the logo. If you take a look real closely, you'll see that there's this little white line right there at the top of this, as well as this. It's not 100% exactly aligned which makes it look a little bit fuzzy around the edges. So let's see what we can do to fix that. So I went into Illustrator and I looked at what I'm doing here. You can see that there's this rectangle here and another rectangle there and they overlap. So at the point where they were overlapping, they weren't perfectly aligned. So I did a lot of things to try and get to figure this out. I actually started to recreate the entire logo using lines, um, but it turns out that lines uh, if you just draw a line. So resizing and everything was kind of a pain and I didn't know how to fix that. So then I went back to rectangles and tried to figure this out. Um, and I was going to do like custom shapes and all this crazy stuff. But then I happened to right click on something here. Uh, let's say here, I selected this. Uh, let me ungroup. Ungroup, control shift G, okay. Here, selected this, I right clicked, and then I saw make pixel perfect. Oh, okay, let me give that a shot and just see if that works. So I'm gonna click make pixel perfect. That does a bunch of moving around. I'm gonna click save. I'm gonna export again, and now we're working with the A, the second A in Gallant. I'm gonna go to export, export for screens. Same thing, export and click replace. So now I'm back on the blog. So let's just zoom in here on that A. Okay. So just to confirm, that's the T, that's the N, that's the A. See what that looks like, right? Okay, so let's hit refresh. This is the T, that is the N, this is the A. All right, so much cleaner line there. I'm still not crazy about the artifacts around that N, and I'm not 100% sure why it's doing that. Uh, because the artboard is 1024 and I'm exporting by 1024, uh, it might have something to do with the resize uh, feature my blog. 
uh, it might have something to do with the exact size of this image. So what I did is I just opened this up in Windows Photo Viewer just to take a look to see if I have that artifacts on the actual original image as well, and I actually do. Uh, but you can see that it's nicely aligned uh, there. So let's go ahead and do that for the rest of the logo. All right, so I updated them all to use Make Pixel Perfect. I'm gonna click Save. File, export, export for screens. All right, let's take a look at each of them here. So that one looks good. The A looks good. This A looks good. G looks great. This O, fantastic. And my N. Okay, great. Let's take a look at what it looks like on the blog. I'm right, just going to hit refresh. Okay, so huge, huge, huge improvement there. This is the old. And this is the new. That's pretty much it. I thought Make Pixel Perfect was awesome. It saved me a bunch of time. Uh, I hope it saves you time as well. Take care.